Yeah, we spoke we spoke to him and his whole family, and uh, obviously they're they're thrilled beyond imagination. Uh, we certainly hoped uh, for a long time that this day was going to come, um, and I think right now they've got such an incredible support network, uh, extended family, friends, uh, messages from all over the world coming in, uh, wishing him congrats and. Uh, reaffirming, you know, his his innocence and people's belief in his innocence. So I think that they're very gratified at that. Well, obviously, I must, I have to keep my comments limited to what's on the public record. But uh, clearly, we found exculpatory evidence uh, uh, from the very first moments on the case, and that process has not abated one bit. Uh, as we were facing retrial in February, we were very confident that we had found new witnesses. We had found information. Uh, that uh, that undermined the credibility of a number of the government's uh, uh, witnesses. Uh, we found uh, evidence that really should have been disclosed that showed factual innocence. And so our core belief in Mark's innocence just proved to be true. Uh, and you know, the only disappointment is that we won't be able to tell that story in court. But again, we're, we're very grateful about today's news. Well, again, I can't comment about things that aren't on the record, but what I can say is that I understood full well what the government was saying. Uh, there were witnesses that I think felt a great deal of pressure that no longer felt that pressure. Uh, we interviewed ourselves a number of witnesses that confirmed uh, Mr. Hazelwood's innocence, uh, and I think that that's all part of the package that you saw delivered to the court today. Well, I think that if you were in our offices and in their home, you would see a lot of crying a lot of hugs, uh, a lot of jubilation, a lot of thanks to God. Um, everyone's very, very gratified that this day came before they had to go through another ordeal and a lengthy trial. Um, and again, this is my core belief as a defense attorney, when you file, when you follow the facts and you believe in your client, uh, you usually get a good result. And the team in this case really did outstanding legal work. And it certainly was not just me, it was a, a, a team of people that I will go into battle with any time. Yeah, I, I mean, the government made a very, this is the, probably the most thorough uh, justification for dismissal that I've ever seen. Uh, and for them to essentially volunteer to dismiss with, uh, with prejudice, meaning they could not never bring the case again, that is quite unusual. Um, and so, yes, as a technical matter, Judge Collier uh, needs to issue an order or uh, or if there's another judge, some judge needs to issue an order to formally dismiss the charges. But I don't expect that that's more than a minister. I don't, I don't expect that there'll be another court hearing. Uh, thank you very much, John. I appreciate that. Uh, I guess all I would say is, uh, is, you know, when you have a client who's innocent and they don't give up and they show perseverance and show their own creativity and you're a lawyer and you listen to them, uh, the result's going to be better than, um, than a march to guilt. And here, uh, Mr. Hazelwood and his family convinced us that he was innocent. We believed it. And thankfully, uh, he's now vindicated. And I, I personally can't wait to see the next life because I'm sure it's going to be a successful one.